Hello guys, today is an important day for our team. I'm proud to present for the first time in public our new thing, Vue.js generator within Quick Admin Panel. So in this video I will demo what is being generated, so this admin panel generated. Then I will show you how to generate that in Quick Admin Panel and then we dive into the code and I will explain how that code works from Vue.js perspective. So now our customers can choose whether to create old admin panel like old style Laravel plus jQuery or new Vue.js single page application with Laravel serving only as API layer. It's still early days, it's beta and it lacks a lot of features, but it's already released for our customers on yearly plan. So that logic is planned also for the future, yearly plan customers, so not one project plan and not monthly plan, yearly plan customers will receive everything related to Vue.js and in the future other generators. Because our logic here is we created typical Laravel admin panel, now we create Vue.js and that opens the doors for us for any possible future generator. And to be fair, historically we did have Vue generator already released in 2018 and it's still available vue.quickadminpanel.com, but it's really outdated, it was quite a failure at the time financially, so we didn't expand on that, so the code became obsolete. It's still only Laravel 5.7, it uses some deprecated packages and stuff like that, so I'm not recommending to use that. It still works, however. So what we did, we recreated that view engine and included that into the main Quick Admin Panel version, which is 2019 Quick Admin Panel Com. And based on how much success it gets, the view version, we will reinvest the profit, the revenue reinvest into the view version. So the success depends on you guys. If you need view version with single page application, then invest in our yearly plan and we will reinvest that money back into more features for view version specifically. And now it's time for the demo. So here's our generated admin panel, the result installed locally, already working, and we log in with admin admin com and password is password. And it uses a theme called Material Dashboard from Creative Tim, the free version of that, and it's still based on Bootstrap 4 framework. So what do we have here? Inside of that we have single page application with view router, so whenever you click something the URL is changing, but it's actually the same single page, just loading the data, loading the table, loading the API Laravel stuff. And it's a typical CRUD. You can add a company. We will use fake filler to fill the data. We save some alerts for success of the data. You can edit that, do some editing, do the deleting part, for example, sweet alert for confirmations. Also in another CRUD employees you can choose belongs to many relationship for the company, so choose which company to belong to, we save. So it's a typical simple CRUD, maybe I should show you another feature so you can customize the fields to be visible. By default it includes user management with roles and permissions, and by default it has two roles, administrator and user. And you can customize the permissions for the role, for example there's company delete permission, and if we remove that from the role user, we save and then we create a new user with that role. So fake filler again, choose role user, copy the email, password and let's log in with that user and you will see that company delete is not available. So if we go to companies now, you can see only view and edit, but not delete. And it is secured both on the front end, so not visible, and also on the back end with Laravel gates. And generally for API authentication, we use Laravel Passport. We were thinking to change that into Laravel Sanctum in the future. We will see how much time we have in the future. For now, it's Laravel Passport. So this was the demo how it works. Now let's generate the same thing. So now I will recreate the same project that you just saw with new project and choosing Vue.js version. For now, as I said, some features are in progress, but you can already generate the panel. So demo employees, for example. We create that panel and while the code is being generated, by default it has user management, as I mentioned, we can generate other CRUDs. So first, companies. And every company will have name and description. So we can choose text field and go company name, which should be required. We save and then company description should be also text, but probably optional. We save that CRUD and it generates menu item companies. Again, while the code is being generated, we can create another CRUD, which is employees. Employees. And then we choose the relationship, belongs to relationship to the company. 
For existing customers, it will be familiar from default quick admin panel version, but for new people, I will show you. So you choose company as a field. You don't need to do underscore ID. It will automatically generate the foreign key and you just choose the model, what to belong to. Belong to the company and you choose the field, what to show in the table. So show company name in employees table. We save that. And then for employee, we can choose first name, last name, email and password. No, email and phone number. So last name. There are a lot of settings that I'm not showing for this demo, so you can check that out individually. I will just show you the main principle. So for email, we choose field type email and also phone number will be text. So phone, save. We save and now we have two CRUDs and user management. What can you do with that code? First, you can view the code. There is a specific code viewer. When you click on the left, here are the files generated. So company and employee models for Laravel. But the main thing is resources admin app JS with a lot of Vue.js code. And we will analyze that in a minute. For now, I will show you how to install that project. So let's close the code viewer. For existing Quick Admin Panel customers, I can tell you that we won't have preview panel in this version because to install that Vue.js on our server, npm install would take huge amount of time and resources and all of that. So we won't give you a preview, unfortunately, at least for now. So you will be able to download the code and install it on your server locally, which I will do right now. These are short instructions that I will repeat on my local server now. So if I unarchive that folder, it's a typical Laravel project with Vue.js inside. Now I've copied that code into a separate folder that I've prepared, project2, and let's go to our terminal and let's repeat everything that is in instructions. So first, Laravel part. So you need to copy .env.example into .env. Then you can edit that in your editor or directly in terminal. So in my case, I've changed username and password to database and project URL, which I've already prepared behind the scenes. Close that and next step is Composer install. Okay, success. Next thing is key generate and migrate the database. The database contains user roles. That's why we need the seed as well. So PHP artisan migrate. I'm doing fresh because that database is not empty in my case. So I'm refreshing the whole database with seeds. And you can see some tables being generated, like create employees table that we just created and generated. Final thing on the back end, we need to install Passport, Laravel Passport. Not install from Composer, but run the command Passport install. And then two commands on the front end, npm install and npm run dev. That takes a lot of time and that's the main reason why we don't have preview panel on our server. So after npm install and npm run dev, we have this. And now we are ready to launch our project. So we go into the browser and launch project2.test. It will automatically redirect to login and how it works, you already saw in the demo before. So as you can see, I haven't touched any code. It's all generated, installed, and then it works. But of course, for real projects, you will need to do a lot of customizations of the code. And that's why now let's take a look in the code. So the final part of this video is to show you the code. What have we actually generated? And let's use the same code editor. Of course, I won't show you all the details because it's a huge application, but let's just run through the main parts. Let's start with Laravel part. It's actually a smaller part here. So in routes web, you will see only all that is related to login and everything else is one view layouts admin app. So all the logic of the pages is on Vue.js side. And Laravel has the API. So if you go to app HTTP controllers, API, v1, admin controllers, you will see, for example, our company's API controller returning the resource, storing the data. So only the non-visual stuff. And also we generate resources. So in resources admin, you will see company resource, which is by default empty to array, but it's almost a standard now to use eloquent API resources for more flexibility. And in Routes API, you can see all the resources for everything that has been generated with prefixes, with namespaces, so slash API slash v1 slash URL is the structure of endpoints that have been called from the Vue.js. And for that, we use auth API middleware, which is, as I mentioned before, Laravel Passport. Now, bigger part of application is inside of resources, admin app, JS. 
For you to understand the amount of code happening on Vue.js, let's actually take a look at package JSON, the amount of front-end libraries and packages that have been used. Probably the main one is Vue 2 data table, which is actually an old package that we had to fork, and I will show you why. It's a great package for Vue.js 2 data table, but unfortunately it was deprecated as the author doesn't work for that company anymore. So the package is great, but it's not maintained. So we forked that into Laravel daily and we will support that from now, at least for our generator. And if we get back to our resources admin app JS, the main app JS is pretty small, importing everything we need. And then there are subfolders for all the logic. So routes contain all the routes for all the pages. So dashboard, user management, and all the routes for every like rows, edit rows, create, companies, the same thing, employees. So all in the routes. Also we use Vuex for store, and it's also divided into CRUDs for companies, like companies index has its own store, then there's global store. So the whole structure around Vuex. And then we have additional components and plugins in JS components. So for data table, for actions, for example, for delete, how to call that sweet alert, also component for bootstrap alert, also using the state actually some spinner buttons and additional components. Every CRUD has its own component within CRUD's components, for example, index view. That's what contains the actual HTML code for the table. And at the bottom loads the data, reusing some of the components and Vuex store. There's much more code, but for this video, I've shown you just the overview of how it works so you would understand the scope and you can take a look at that after download if you use that generator. So what now? The generator is released but it still lacks a lot of features. So the next plan for August and September is to add more field types. So for example when you go to CRUD you add new field. This list is pretty limited for now. Also there are no modules because in the main version of Quick Admin Panel we have 22 models like multi-tenancy, registration, global search and stuff like that. So we will recreate at least part of that into Vue.js version. And then we will work on some customizations because if you create a new project, as I've shown you before, create new project and Vue.js, there are things to customize like date format, language and theme. For Laravel version, we will for now support Laravel 7 only and onward we will add Laravel 8, 9 and whatever comes after that. For theme, for now, we will stick to one material UI, material dashboard, but for date format and language, we'll make it customizable. So realistically, by the end of September, you should have production ready generator with a lot of features. But if you need only the core user's permissions and some core field types, you can use it right now. Just become a customer of our yearly plan. And by that, you will actually support this YouTube channel because the more revenue Quick Admin Panel generates, the more time I personally have to shoot more videos. So with the tool, you also support me personally. And final thing, not sure if everyone knows, in our pricing on yearly plan, unlimited plan, you also have Laravel daily courses for free. Currently, there are 11 courses on my Teachable. Separately, they cost $29 or $19 each. And if you subscribe to yearly plan of Quick Admin Panel, you will get a discount code for 100% discount for all the courses. So that's it, kind of a promotional video for our Quick Admin Panel, but at the same time showing how to structure the SPA with API and Vue.js. And soon we will launch a few demo projects available for free on GitHub from generated code, where I will go deeper into explaining how it works, how Vuex works, how roles and permission works, how data table works, and all of that stuff. So subscribe to the channel for more videos on Vue.js and demos of Quick Admin Panel available to you on GitHub.